What's up, good foot? Y'all ready for the snowy weather? The thing I love about Portland, Oregon is that no matter what the weather, I know I'm always gonna have a white Christmas. Some of my best friends are white. Yeah. 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 Post office? Post office has a Christmas carol out. Have you heard it? Post office. Budget cuts, we don't like that. rat a tat a tat ta 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 You cut our drops. We'll go postal and get our gats. Rat-a-tat-a-tat, ta-tat-tat-tat. Rat-a-tat-tat-tat, ta-tat-tat. Tat-a-tat-tat-tat-tat-tat. Family wage jobs or we'll fight back. Rat-a-tat-a-tat, ta-tat-tat-tat. Tip your postal worker. <laughs> Working hard for the money. Get the ideas I brought tonight. I don't know if you're into the uh, kind of commercial thing, but um, I thought I might give you a couple of ideas in case you hadn't thought of some things. These are, I know they look like they're uh, 3D, but uh, these are x-ray, these are x-ray glasses. Ladies, you're looking good tonight. Mm, mm, mm. And the guys, I'm sorry, I just don't care. Ladies are gonna win hands down in a x-ray glass experience every time, hands down. Or you can use it to kind of turn the tables on the TSA if you gotta go to the airport. See, now, look, now who's looking at who? Mr. and Mrs. TSA. You don't have to blow them away, just get, get some of these. X-ray. Well, there's another thing too, it's real economical, if you think this is too spendy for you. This is uh, called the uh, TMI whistle. <laughs> the TMI whistle is used to maintain control it's like a referee or something like that in the game on the field or something like that. There are situations in life where you got to get control. For example, say guys, if um, say your girlfriend starts telling you about how she used to go out and date your very best friend, she starts going into details about how they would make out. Every touch, every fondle, every position, everything, even how she would scream and moan with ecstasy when he would <laughs> hold up. TMI. The TMI. Nobody gets hurt, but you gotta stop right there. Because you've heard enough. Ladies, you might need to use it too. It's economical. <laughs> TMI. I don't smoke uh, weed anymore, but I thought I'd try to be entrepreneurial since this is an entrepreneurial town here. We have, uh, you know, we're going to be legalizing here pretty soon. I'm pretty sure it'll happen. Yeah! So I'm I'm selling uh, I'm selling uh, my uh, my urine. <laughs> it's clean, and the product is called uh, Ooey Clean Pee. You laugh, but there's money in this. Everybody's going to be small. You won't be able to avoid the secondhand contact. Everybody's going to be like squirting out uh, negative U U UAs, your analysis tests. And you're gonna need me, you're gonna find me. Hey David, 
Man, how do I get some of that clean pee of yours? Clean <laughs> weed, clean pee. <laughs> now this is economic. This is uh, environmentally sound. This will clean, kill bed bugs. <laughs> Kills bed bugs. Biodegradable. And uh, I don't know if, it, if you can. Uh, if you can. I don't know if you can break it. I don't know. <laughs> No, you can't drink it. You can't drink it. Unless you want a buzz kill. It'll kill a buzz. You know, if the cops are coming or something, you gotta like go down really quick. You know, or your parents or whatever. Significant other doesn't like what you do. Ooh Clean pee. Holiday times, y'all. There's economic, pr there's, there's just pressure here everywhere, just advertisers, and some of us have our significant others, people we like, and things like that. And you can't get over the uh, radio advertisements and things, especially for like the diamonds. They really get you. Show her you love her. She deserves it. And she starts getting pissed off at you. Yeah, I deserve it. I deserve a diamond, why not? Mm -hmm. And guys, you're getting a mean eye from your lady and you're like, oh man. What you can do is kind of turn the tables. I, I use the gold digger rule. I call it the gold digger rule. The gold digger rule is like, I tell my lady, I say, you know, if you're buying the diamond, it looks great on you. But if I have to buy the diamond, it looks terrible. <laughs> You don't want that. In the future, I think that we're going to be looking at uh, Starbucks. It's going to go even more organic. They're going to go full circle to where, you know how we buy water in a bottle right now? Who would have thought we'd be buying bottled water? Something so basic. But I'm closing on this. Starbucks one day is going to go full circle in the organic, and they're going to start Selling catnaps. That's just a prediction of mine. I'm, I believe it. They're going to sell catnaps. It's going to be so, you know, coffee won't be enough. You know, we're going to be such a hamsters on the wheel that we're just going to need a quiet place to chill out. Starbucks will have a room, something like this, kind of dark and quiet. The only thing, though, the only thing is if you sleep, too long, you oversleep. Starbucks is going to have big Samoan bouncers. And if you oversleep and you can't pay, the guy's going to be like, hey, guy, sorry, this is my job. I got to break something. I'm sorry, I got to break something. What would you like? No, I, it's going to be your neck. What? Well, you don't have insurance, but you didn't sign up for Obamacare? Why not, man? You didn't think you needed, huh? I'm David Little. Thank you for listening. Good fight. I love you. I love this place. Woo! Thank you for listening.